Yo, what's going on everybody? I finally got the TRD Pro Girl from Yodaverse, the version two with the side DRLs. And this one was a little bit tricky to actually install. And coincidentally, when I installed it, my old battery actually died on my, on my truck. So I thought I did some kind of wiring issue, but it wasn't, I haven't changed that thing in seven years. So coincidentally, it, it, it died, had to replace it, and then I could try this again. So let me show you guys actually how to wire it because online there's only two videos that show you actually how to wire them and they don't go into, well, they, one video does go into um, some depth about it, but I don't know if he had like something different, like cabling was, was different, but mine, someone said that there was four wires that you pl unplug, right? From a four wire connector that you unplug. Mine was not the case because I have three cable, three wires here, three wires down there, and then the turn signals are here, okay? Which only has two wires to it. Now, the Raptor lights, I actually connected those with the daytime running lights for the side DRLs. So Raptor lights, side DRLs, and I connected those into one, which is there. And I'll show you what uh, kind of adapter or tapping tool that I used. And I actually used some liquid, uh, electrical tape to actually fill on the inside to actually keep it from any kind of moisture damage or you know uh, rusting or anything like that and then i connected that to the daytime running light cable which is um uh, pink over here so this side actually has pink green and black okay down there which i also tried to tap to was a peach black and another pink wire as well too but that connects to that all right, so those two connect to there. And I try, I did a trial and error, and I can't tell you how many times I had to figure things out because this, well, not this, but the old battery died, and I had to replace it. And I thought I did some kind of wiring issue. Wasn't the case. And now moving over to the passenger side, which is the easiest, okay, the easiest. Now, one video, I actually pulled the wire over here, but... Like I said, this has three wires, blue, green, and then there's a white and black wire, okay, your ground cable. That also connects to that cable down there. Let me see if I can focus that. There it is, all right, which has the power cables down there as well, too. I tried tapping into those. That was not it. And the yellow, okay, is a turn signal. This is turn signal only, and that goes to the turn signal here, okay? I don't know if I can do there it goes. All right, and I tapped into that. Also put liquid uh, electrical tape into that as well too, just to make sure that it doesn't get all moisture damage. And that's blinker. All right, so left turn signals, and I'll show you that um, how that works with everything as well too. And that's pretty much it. There's multiple ways where you can actually hook this power cable power connector up. Right, you can tap it into the fuse with one of those extenders, uh, low profile extenders. You can tap it into there. But I, I did that, it was okay. I didn't like it because you had to wire um, through some hoops and I didn't know how to take some of these things out. So then I just tapped into the electrical wires here and it worked, okay? So let me go ahead and turn on the hazard lights and the blinkers and I'll show everything that's working. And there you go. There is the yellow blinkers, all right? So those are working. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, or just need some help with it, uh, you can drop a comment in the bottom. I am going to announce this video for other YouTubers who also have the same grill, um, how to actually set these guys up properly, okay?